um, this video is about asylum. But before that, I would like to greet everyone, especially American citizens, for those American citizens out there. Um, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, America. And so guys, this, this video is, it's time for me to discuss about about law again and um, I'm trying to get at least once a week of of um, a topic that that discuss or involves about law so this topic is about asylum law this is quite a very complex um, um, discussion but I will I'll try my best to explain it on the way that um, everyone could understand and everyone could grasp um, of what is the meaning of asylum. Um, some people may, may, uh, may confuse what about um, asylum, refugee, and as well as with the immigrant. So, uh, first, I will categorize the difference of these three topics first, but uh, mainly my topic is about asylum. And I'm not going to mix it up all together because that makes um, the, the viewers get confused. Uh, but, but first of all, asylum, refugees, and immigrant. We know that immigrant is like everyone can become an immigrant. It's like me. I am here in the Czech Republic as an, immig uh, um, as an immigrant. For the word hence the noun, which is an immigrant, means from a person transferring to another country A to country B to C or whatever. That means you can call that yourself as an immigrant. I call myself here as an immigrant because I came here for the purpose of a work, which is a brighter future is in here in the Czech Republic for me and for my husband. He works here, so that's why we move here. Immigrant can be anyone. You could, if you're um, you're moving to a country A to country B because of for the purpose of um, various reasoning such as studies, um, work stability, uh, or or um, lifestyle, worth of living, things like that. You can call that as your immigrant. You move to the other country because of their reasoning. Now let's move to re refugee. Refugee is a is a is a situations that uh, that a person or a group of person and are facing or experiencing this hazardous of their lives in their current countries. So the only solutions that for them to be able to escape those hazard or those dangerous situations in their countries is to move to country B, enable for them to receive peaceful life, um, to be to save their lives, because probably the count the, their current countries is on facing on a war. Um, there's an environmental problem that cause um, the the whole countries get uh, um, toxic about that or um, the war between the government and the war between the, the citizens. So this, and then they were impacted with all the, what happenings in that country. So they, so they moved to another country. It's either the, the, the government pushed them through to move or flee them in to move to another countries that are easiest to transfer right away prior to that situations. So you call that a refugee because um, they have the right to, 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 to fly or to flee into another country in order for them to be saved. And um, that's another different story between a refugee and the immigrant. Remember, hence the word immigrant. Immigrant is for the purpose of a good of living, for a good living environment, for a good future. So that's you call in, um, um, immigrant. Now let's go to asylum. Asylum and refugee is quite similar, but the problem is that um, 
the way it process, the way the application goes are 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 not identical. It's different. Um, this, so again, this topic is about asylum. So everyone knows about the Universal Declaration of the Human Rights that under the Article 14, everyone, you or I or anyone, has the right to seek um, a good life or a uh, or a help on the, from the other countries. All right. So you have the right for that. So um, you are. It's not because you have the right stated in the Article 14. You're just going to fly in to the country there because you're saying when you get in the country, you're going to say, hey, mom or hey, officer, I have the right according to the, according to the, to the Universal Declarations of the Article 14 that I have the right to seek and to enter this country for this various reason. But on uh, but before that, that are that reasoning of the Article 14 has to be justified and has to prove that you are eligible in this Article 14. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng pinagsasabi ko? So baka kayo ay nalilito na. So ang ibig sabihin po nitong asylum law under the Article 14 of the Universal Declarations of the Human Rights na ang ibig sabihin ang ibig sabihin po ay kung ikaw ay nakakaranas ng um ng ano ba sa Tagalog nito ng 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 treatment na na Nahihirapan talaga ako mag, mag Tagalog. Uh, okay. Kapag ikaw ay uh, na 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 um, naiisip mo na ik, na may mangyayari sa buhay mo sa loob ng iyong bansa. Let's say let's say in the Philippines, okay? Uh, okay. Nasa Pilipinas ka at ikaw ay ang buhay mo ay nanganganib hindi dahil sa may gustong pumatay sa iyo na isa mong kapitbahay at saka ka pupunta, lilipad ka sa ibang bansa or sa malapit na bansa, let's say Malaysia, it, it, which is the one of the neighboring countries of the Philippines. Hindi ibig sabihin na na ang kapitbahay mo ay gusto kang patayin, kaya kailangan mo nang magtago dahil itong kapitbahay mo nga ay ay gusto kang huntingin. Hindi ibig sabihin noon na na ang Malaysia, ang country ng ang bansang Malaysia ay ay ia-adapt ka na like okay punta ka na dito dong at at bibigyan kita ng shelter, bibigyan kita ng bahay at um um well gonna take care of your needs and everything. It's not like that po ang ang asylum. Ang asylum ang ibig sabihin po nito, uh, ang ibig sabihin po nitong asylum law is like kung for example po ay nanganganib bang inyong buhay dahil sa sa iyong mga pananaw sa buhay at dahil against ka sa gobyerno or against ka sa sa political issues, ang mindset mo ay magkaiba doon sa sa politics na yon. At uh, saka, um, ikaw ay, let's say, you're discriminated against like, you are a gay, you are, a, you are not straight. At ang bansang yan ay hindi pwedeng, ay hindi ka tanggap. Let's say, sasabihin natin sa bansang kung saan ay bawal ang, 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 ang gay at ang lesbian na dapat sa bansang yun ay straight lamang. Let's say, sasabihin po natin sa Saudi Arabia, bawal po talaga ang bakla na magladlad, bawal po ang, ang same-sex marriage na ganyan, at ikaw ay nanganganib ang inyong buhay sapagkat nilabag mo ang, ang patakaran na yun, nilabag mo ang roles na yun, ang law ng bansang yon at ikaw pa rin ay nakikipagrelasyon sa kapwa mo um, babae o kapwa mo lalaki na na you were very open to the public which is the government is against for that do the governments already warn you to stop that and you know 
uh, may mga grupong ayaw nito, itong mga ginagawa mo. Kaya nanganganib ang iyong buhay dahil sa ganitong rason. Which is, it's your right to have your own way to, to, to show who you are, right? Uh, ngunit, ang bansang to ay nagsasabi na na bawal ang ganito at ang ganyan. Ngunit dahil nga sa iniisip mo na ikaw ay isang tao at um, dahil you have the rights to have the under the human rights. However, ang human rights na article na ito ay hindi nakasaad po at hindi applicable sa bansa kung saan ikaw ay sana ikaw pinanganak at ikaw ay lumaki. At you know, bawal yung ganun. So, so dahil doon nanganganiban yung buhay may posibilidad na ikaw ay bibitayin or may posibilidad na ikaw ay uh, or you're facing persecution. So, yun po ang mga dahilan kung bakit kailangan mo ng tulong sa ibang bansa. Kung bakit kailangan mong lumay- lum- lumabas sa bansa kung saan ka nang galing. Kung, uh, kung like for example, you were in Saudi Arabia or you were in Afghanistan or you were in the Philippines and dahil napaka-issue ang iyong, ang iyong mga bawat nilalabas na mga salita against the government, ang gobyerno ay, ay pinagsasabihan ka ng huminto. Ngunit dahil nga um, ikaw, ay, ikaw ay, ay pinaninindigan mo ang iyong mga mga hinaing, pinaninindigan mo ang iyong mga sit ang iyong mga pananaw sa buhay na dapat ganito ang mangyayari sa bansa, dapat ganito ang gobyerno. So, yun po, may mga grupo na ayaw na gusto kang tumigil, ngunit continuous pa rin ang, iyo, ang iyong pakikibaka, kumbaga. So, yun, nagiging dahilan na ikaw ay under the persecutions of the government. Um, kaya, Walang magagawa yung yung iyong fam- family or yung yung kamag-anak or yung ibang political sides kundi ikaw ay pagsabihan na kailangan mong umalis sa bansang ito para ma-save mo ang iyong buhay. Guys, this topic is to be continued dahil hindi po natin mapag-uusapan ng ng 13 minutes ang usapang ito kaya um, I I would like to discuss this in the second part of the video. So guys, thank you for listening on this first part of the video and I'll see you again on the second part and that gonna be in the few days. So hopefully guys, you could or you would understand the issue that I am trying to to bring up in this first part of the video and see you again guys in the second part of this video in just a couple of days and and uh, if you have any other or further questions please sir, please comment down then i will bring up that in the next following videos of this about this discussion so see you guys see you later bye and thank you for watching legal matters with yen sign out